Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphany. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could, please click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and send it straight to the moon. So we're here on medium.com once again. Um, that's surprising, two articles in a row. They have some very good stuff on there. Uh, this article is titled Project Venus, DeFi on Stellar using Turing signing servers. This is by Script3. And let's just start from the introduction here, right? Very interesting read. In May 2020, Tyler Vanderhoven wrote a proposal for an experimental stellar ecosystem smart contract engine called TSS, Turing signing servers. As Script3, we have been looking into building DeFi decentralized finance protocols uh, on Stellar for a while. So we immediately got involved with the project. Once TSS became more of a, re a reality, we partnered with SDF and JST Capital to create Project Venus, a DeFi FX short-term forwards protocol as a proof of concept for TSS-based DeFi protocols. TSS overview. TSS is a network of servers called turrets that store smart contracts and will build and sign transactions according to uploaded smart contract specifications at a user's request. Users can upload smart contracts to any turret and the turret will create a key pair that it will use to sign transactions generated by this smart contract, then return the public key of that key pair to the user. Combining this network with Stellar's multi-sig capabilities enables trustless DeFi protocols on Stellar. The developer uploads the DeFi protocol smart contracts to multiple trusted turrets and adds the associated public keys as signers on the protocol accounts. Next, the de developer modifies the protocol account signer, signer weights and thresholds to require most turrets to sign a transaction before it's valid. Then users can run the smart contract by running it across all turrets and aggregating the return signatures until they have sufficiently signed transaction. See, and this is why, another reason why Stellar will continue in the future to be extremely successful. They continue to improve efficiency. They, and they're continuing to grow what the Stellar protocol is capable of doing. And I know there's quite a few crypto that are doing that as well. Algorand, Cardano, they're continuously improving, adding, thing, adding things. XRP, they are going to be powerful, a very powerful interoperable system. Additions like this continue to keep crypto ahead of the competition. And you have competitions within nations, within businesses, and within the governments. As you saw with one of my last videos, how the government was trying to cook up this tips system to juxtapose against crypto when the tip system was just the old system with a new look still slow still insecure and with a ton of intermediaries but with and, and also the tip system does not uh sufficiently put the users in control of everything that could possibly be controlled by the individual while, while crypto is placing the control in your hands, you get to do this. You have transparency. You have the power. So when projects like this are coming out, it's important for us to let the, the, the people know at the companies like St Stellar Development Foundation and um, Algorand Foundation, hey, you guys are doing a good job. Continue to do that. Listen, it could be like a little tweet. It could be a like, a retweet. Who knows? But it lets them know that the people are happy with that to continue innovating, continue to uh, move forward with uh, in, uh, uh, bringing in new brilliant minds and projects. And what does that do? That helps us investors continue to make money. We're here to make money. So we need to take the steps that, that uh, um, keep the environment rich for us to continue to not, not only make money now, but make lots of money in the future. We need them to stay ahead of the competition. This is a battle, people. This is a war. We're fighting a war. 
Now, while the competition is way back there, as far as the governments are concerned, they really never lead. That's why they're trying to push out products that uh, are just old, antiquated, archaic systems with a new look. So they don't lead, but they are fighting and they, they do have power. And we rest on our laurels, whether you're part of the company or whether you're an investor, we rest on our laurels. We could lose the battle. We don't want to lose the battle. Never believe something is a foregone conclusion. No, you swing until a fight is over, till your opponent is knocked out. Things like this, keep stellar ahead of the competition is going to make us stand to make some of us millionaires and billionaires. Muy, muy linda, mi gente. I'm sorry, I said that I was just picturing my pockets just my pockets just exploding with money. Some of you know what I mean. Picturing it right now, aren't you? Anyway, <laughs> let's continue on. TSS thus enables trust-free DeFi protocols on Stellar without requiring an on-chain virtual machine. As a result, the smart contract engine adds no inordinate congestion to the network and retains the efficiency offered by Stellar. Didn't I just say that? It's my first time reading this article, but we're all on the same page. Stellar is very efficient. So everything that adds to it not only grows it, but it also maintains that efficiency. This is the brilliance of so many projects that have been released on Stellar and Stellar itself. And why it's so tempting to central banks and to nations. There's so much going on behind the scenes, guys, it's not even funny. There's so much, but it can't be talked about. Um, as I was told by a head of a, a very important company, uh, the head of their marketing, okay? A lot of things cannot be discussed because so many NDAs have been signed, non-disclosure agreements, okay? But behind the scenes, there is a lot going on. Let me tell you, be excited. <laughs> be excited <laughs> if some of these things go down, because they happen. Oh man, I can't tell you how to feel. It's just a suggestion, but I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on here. Initial goals for Project Venus. Project Venus was launched with two primary objectives in mind. First and most importantly, TSS needed to be vetted as secure and functional. Secondly, adding short-term forward contract capabilities to Stellar's network could solve a long-term pain point for Stellar-based financial institutions. So they saw an issue, right? Uh, an issue that was, that was long standing for financial institutions utilizing Stellar, and they closed that hole up. Now, like, didn't I just say, this makes them even more delicious for businesses, banks, and nations to use? Now, even a tiny little hole was closed up, and Stellar becomes that much better. When it was already great, Think about that for one moment. You're a central bank, you're a nation, you're a business. And regulatory clarity is around the corner. Imagine the money flowing through Stellar. Imagine juxtaposing Stellar with any other protocol. It you will be hard pressed to find one that's better than XLM, Stellar. And let me tell you, there's a few up there shoulder to shoulder with Stellar, but it's a battle. Even though it's, it, it, we're, go, we're all gonna work together. We're still, we're, we're gonna sharpen each other. We're gonna sharpen each other. Algorithm, Algorand sharpens Stellar. Stellar sharpens Algorand. XRP sharpens them all. One must continue to improve and the other will have to uh, continue to improve. They're all getting better and better and better. This is healthy, healthy growth. And it's going to grow our money. The better they become, the more they can be utilized. The more that they're utilized, the more XLM is flowing here and there, the more money we will make. Delicious. Let's continue on. TSS, the TSS system is a radical departure from the smart contract engines typical in the DeFi ecosystem. Traditionally, engines follow the Ethereum virtual machine model by having an on-chain virtual machine run smart contracts. This empowers the engine with live access to the ledger state 
Being on chain also forces the contracts to obey the ledger state as the ledger is the only input the contracts have access to. The downside of this model is that running smart contracts on chain is expensive in resources, time, and money. TSS attempts to askew on chain smart contract, contract execution by running smart contracts on turrets. However, the off chain nature of TSS smart contracts means they lose live ledger state re uh, uh, enforcement and ledger data access, which are vital for DeFi protocols. TSS enforces the ledger state by still requiring transactions to be submitted to the ledger. If a transaction does not comply with the current ledger state, it is rejected. Stellar Horizon APIs provide access to ledger data so tourists can get near real time information from the ledger. In theory, these are sufficient for TSS to host DeFi protocols, but further validation is needed to ensure protocols will function in this environment. So now they're even saying that this separates them and gives them a unique product. That's also very good. You want to separate yourself from the competition. So all of the other models are based on Ethereum and this model is taking a new approach. Although they're probably going to be shearing up some things, that's perfectly fine. We have a little bit of time until regulatory clarity. Not a little bit, we have time until regulatory clarity. Shear it up and make it as good as you possibly can. And when it's time and the banks and the nations are ready to use XLM, everything will be ready. And we will say, come to us and lay down your banking money. And you and I will walk over and we will pick up that banking money and we will live like lords. It's a very good read. Very, very good read from medium.com. I'm going to uh, post a link to this in the description box. I typically, typically don't do that, but this is such a good read. I'm going to do that today. So now that you have that information, <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. And until next time, Let's get to the money.